Hey, how you guys doing out there? Yeah, I still got these two cars. Uh, twin induction. Oh, yeah, look at those wheels. And this is a nitro door slammer. Got roll bars in the back. Yeah, but I haven't found a race for any of these. These are fantasy cars. So... I don't know. Let's get down to the main attraction here, which is airbrushing. Oh, and someday I hope 3D. This is a rally especial. Well, a rally special. We got three of these. I hope to someday modify one of these for uh, 3D, the rally cross track. Uh, airbrush. Let's go, Bill. Airbrush. Ah, oh, ho, 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 yeah, baby, look at this. Look at this puppy here, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, he's all set up for uh, 0.8 millimeter, and we're going to use this little guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put him together in a minute. Yeah. So we got that guy. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And we got our new pearl white. And we got our reducer. Uh, 50 to 10%, which means 1 to 2 drops per 10. Yeah, we're going to use these guys. I know these have the dripper out there but sometimes it's like you want them one drop and all of a sudden you get five drops oh how many was that now ah oh, crap so we're gonna we're gonna get the twins over here all right we got number one and number two. Oh, guess what now we have triplets what yeah we got we got triplets you know what I would like to do is get like 14 of these and make one of every color. You know, the purple, the plum, the lime, the magenta, the, uh, oh, all those new paints. Yeah, yeah, uh, what's this guy? That's the plum. Uh, make one of each. Yeah, yeah. And I've been trying for the last hour to make a new email. SST Racing, like the sign says in the um, Hot Wheels shop. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's from my stepdaughter. She didn't know it was SST Diecast Racing, so the sign, did, there was no room on there for Diecast, so it was just SST Racing. All right, this guy is for later. Today, we're going to put this Pearl White on here, brand new. And we're going to add this reducer stuff so it doesn't clog up the nozzle so fast. So let's get over there. And I don't do it right here. I do it outside. Oh, I can't wait to use this, buddy. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Oh. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> now, this is the guy that's all pitted up. And then a new test is going to be taking this tape off and see if I got to regroup these. Oh, no. We're, we're going to find out, man. We're going to find out. Let's move over to that side and uh, we'll be right back. Um, I know you want to see me use this, but it's the same as airbrushing, except you ain't got to use your finger on that little nozzle right there. Uh, this should be easier for me. So I got to set this up. Let's go. I mix these up. And you know the rest. All right. Let's see what happens. I'll do one at a time. Cut. All right. Here we go. Hope you can see that. That's white. 
That's pearlized what? Well, I got some on me. And see, I've done this like five times, but it was so clogged. Yeah, and that paint comes out really fast. So I'm gonna find out what that button on the bottom's for, you know, on the uh, the new airbrush. So yeah, that's white. Oh baby, oh, oh I love this airbrush. Let's do this guy. Maybe I'll film it this time. But I, I might have to go from the eight to the five, the point eight millimeter to the point five millimeter. And I'm playing with that thing on the bottom, but I don't, I don't know, man. It's coming out really good. So yeah, I think the paint was all effed up. AFU, buddy. So we're gonna do this guy next. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. He was that little, little stubby guy up here. I found out what this is for. You can have this on full blast. With this all the way open, pull it all the way back. Let's see, is it, where is it? All right there, it touches. So that's the stop. That's as far back as it's gonna go. But you can make it go forward. See how it's going forward? Even though you have it full blast like this, you can still adjust this down to zero and nothing comes out nothing comes out so I got my 50 psi and you can adjust this for the amount of spray now this is the guy that had all the pits and they're still coming out so and this paint re requires heat so I got a heat gun you know 120 degrees for like 20 30 seconds but I don't want to do it on a tape but it's a good test to see. Now one's just the silver, one's already got red and blue. Let's see who's who. This guy's just the silver. This guy's already red and blue. And I believe that's your thing. I don't know. But I think, you know, for practice, we're gonna take the tape off yeah should I take the tape off and see where we're at here you know uh, I don't know it's an <laughs> it's another experiment and some of the tape came loose so let's see where we are at and then we'll get the heat gun out instead of putting it in the oven because it worked pretty good on the blue and the red and I think that's blue oh well, I can't remember it was a hell of a week in Puerto Rico and there's red under here let's find out you know what just kicked in this guy here with the blue and the red this is your thing with a silver base coat all right <clears throat> and I believe this one is the pearlized silver hang on let me go back out there and look yeah this guy was this silver pearlized base all over and then we're going to do pearlized red and pearlized blue this guy over here is the urea oh man I touched it is the urethane red under a silver base coat with this stuff so yeah that's what I was doing last week it was a heck of a trip to Puerto Rico man wouldn't want to live there dang it the only safe place is in the tourist areas and the cops are there all the time. Why? Because uh, it's dangerous? I'm thinking yes. Let's get the tape off and see what we got left. I hope that paint don't peel off. If not, you know where it's going to go. <laughs> That's right. It's going to go back in the goop. And we're going to do this all over from scratch again. Uh, 
I have no race to send these into, but I would like, hey, hey, you know, I spent an hour trying to set up another email. I'm going to have to call my ISP. Because doing it on my computer is not working. <clears throat> I want to email for SST Diecast Racing. And then you guys can talk to me privately and send me a car and I'll paint it for you if you want. Instead of doing this, uh, this stuff, you know. Send me a car, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so I did that last. I did this first. Let's see how bad I messed this up there, Bill. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's the blue. We're going for it. There's the red. Uh-oh. We're gonna. All right, that was the extra little piece. Now this is still wet, so I really don't want to touch it. Uh, get off of there. Yep. Yeah. Um. Well, crap. You gotta get under here somewhere, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I pulled off some white, because, like I said, the paint, not the paint, the tape has moved. Yeah, well, that looks pretty good. Yeah, uh, we're gonna leave that alone. You know, they're gonna get messed up anyways. Let's see this guy here. Let's see, who's first? I think it's this guy. And then we're going to hit this with a heat gun. Yeah, oh, you know it, baby. Let's see if... Oh, that is pearl white, I tell you what. Not pearl of white at 3D, pearl white. Oh, yeah, see, now this guy I need to tape up. And, um, is this guy, no, this is bare metal, this is bare metal, I can't remember what the heck I'm doing there, let's see if this will come off, yep, oh yeah, my camera, yep, close enough there, uh, Johnny Smoke. Yeah, oh shit. Get off there. Dang it, I don't really want to touch it. Now, where were we? Right here. Nope, nope, don't want to do that one. We'll do uh, this guy right here. No, he's stuck. Crapola. Well... You got yourself in a tizzy now there. How about this guy? Uh oh, here we go. Oh, that paint came out kind of thick. We can probably fix that with the red and the blue. Yeah. I knew it was spraying too thick. I should go with a .5 instead of the 8. Yeah, it's a little thick. We can fix that up. All right. So we got the white sides, the white front, and the white top. Yeah, that paint came out way too thick. I'm going to have to change that to a .5. Man, yeah, yeah but I love this guy. I got to put this down to zero. This little guy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I might have to learn how to use this and control the, the amount of paint. But the air pressure is still going to be the same, but the amount of paint coming through. Yeah, yeah. I, I had this wide open, man, wide open. You can tell. 
Yeah, uh, uh, nice airbrush though, yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but you know. Hey, we can always put it back in the goop since I got a new airbrush and I'm, you know. <laughs> Another experiment. But we're going to hit this with the heat gun <clears throat> and uh, let it dry. And we'll, we'll go back again tomorrow and we're going to do the red and the blue. I would like to do one of every color, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love this Toyota GR. I said GT. It's a GR Supra. Uh, I love the fender flares on it and stuff. And it's easy to make weights on it, too. Ah, yeah. Anyways, let me set up another email account. And if you want, you send me one. I'll paint it for you. And send it right back. You know, I'll keep it all in a cup. Everything, well, just the paint. I'll goop it. I'll repaint it. If you trust me, you know. So anyways, another experiment. <clears throat> that tape's been on for over a week. And only a little bit of damage. So I, I like that tape. Yeah, yeah, this stuff. Alright, let's get this posted and I hope I can fix that, man. That came out really thick. Alright, later. Thanks for watching. See you later, everybody. Here's my sign. Here's my shed. Loving it. Now, who's that guy? Toy cars. Real racing. Oh, ho, ho, ho.